Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and I just want to give you guys a couple of quick updates, including two of the games we're going to be featuring on this series. I also have another couple of games I want to give away as part of the fundraiser and another contest that I want to tell you about that's going to be open to everyone. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are going to be too. I also want to do an unboxing. We received a couple of games from a very generous viewer. I want to share those with you. And there's probably a couple other things I'm going to slide in there as well. Let's, let's get started and find out. Well, the very first thing I want to mention is a big thank you to all of you. You may remember I did a video about Modest Magic's wonderful work for us creating these cutouts for our logo. And I asked you guys to help me thank him by participating in a contest that he's running. And if we win the contest, the prizes are actually going to go to you guys, not to us. But I, this was... The prize for me in this contest is being able to thank Nick by having you guys participate in this contest. And I've gone over to the video, I've seen a bunch of you guys posting there and being a part of the contest. It Listen, it warms my heart. I really, really appreciate that. And I want you to know, I don't think of you guys as my personal army. This is not the sort of thing I'd be asking you to do often. It's just something I was hoping to be able to do as a little thank you to Nick. And you guys really, really came through and helped me out with that. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. For the fundraiser, emails have gone out for the following perks. Visionary curator, online, and remote players. Also, if you're a producer, you should be seeing your name in the credits. And if you're an editor, you should have been receiving advance access to the Take Noko playthrough episodes. If you feel like you got missed, please get in touch with me so we can correct that as soon as possible. Also, for the online and remote player perks, Right now, I'm just gathering information on the games that people want to play, and I'll start fulfilling those in a few weeks' time. I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead of the video work, but I really look forward to doing this. I know last year with the previous fundraiser, this was a lot of fun. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun for you guys again. Now, I mentioned Take Noko, but that series is already over. So what are we playing next? Well, it's going to be Kerflip, and it's probably only going to take a single episode to both teach you and show you several turns of gameplay. And then sticking with games that start with KE, we're going to be playing Kemet after that. And what's really cool about this one is that we had the seven creatures that come in this game. Normally, they're unpainted. Well, they were professionally painted for us by Jen Akuta. So they're going to look really great on screen. But what's this? A second copy of Kemet? Whatever for? Well, this was provided to us by Asmodee and GTS Distribution to give away in a contest to one of you guys. Even better, this one also has seven uniquely painted creatures by Jenna Kuda. So I'm really looking forward to telling you more about this contest. We're going to announce the details very soon, but I, I couldn't wait to tell you about the contest itself. I'm very excited for it. And I'm very excited about these two games, which were donated by Darren Austin, a viewer of the show who just wanted to say thank you. He picked these off my Board Game Geek wish list. Darren, this was an entirely unnecessary gesture, but as you can imagine, wildly appreciated. As a fellow gamer, it's always a thrill to get a new game. And these were both ones that I was looking forward to. I actually know what's in this box, but they arrived separately, and I couldn't wait. I tore into this one. I've already played it a couple of times. Maybe you've been curious about Bruges? Let me tell you just very quickly about it. This is a game by Stefan Feld that has you vying for influence and prestige against your opponents using subtle random elements combined with your need to make smart choices because all of the cards in the game can be used for multiple purposes. So the challenge is knowing which cards to use when and for what. And of course, you never quite feel like you have enough time to do everything you want, so you have to be constantly reevaluating and prioritizing what you want to do. Now, before we get into the next box, we've been joined by... Luke Smith. Right. Now, this one came just a little bit later. Luke, have you got it opened here for us? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see what's inside. <laughs> Fluffy! <laughs> hey, there's some fluffies in here. Woohoo! There's also, besides the fluffies... Whoa. Nurashimo Hex 3.0. Now... This game has been out in a couple other editions, and I was aware of it, but I've just recently been getting more and more interested in this designer's game, so I thought, well, it's time to give this a shot. In the game, each player leads an army consisting of 34 tiles, which make up your soldiers, support, and special actions, and you're trying to ensure that your headquarters outlasts all the other players. This version includes rule corrections, a total of five armies in the box, a solo variant with 55 puzzle cards for you to try to beat, and new three-player variants. Darren, what can I say? Thank you so much for being generous with us. I can assure you these are going to take prize positions in our collection and will get played with the family 
and gaming group. I'm talking about the games, not the fluffies. The fluffies, <laughs> I don't appreciate quite so much. They are getting thrown out. <laughs> but listen, now it's time for me to be generous with you guys. We have a couple of draws to do for our fundraiser. Let's just get things cleared off and we'll get started. Now I want to mention, we did do a draw already. Two of them, didn't yeah. we? And I want to let the winners of those draws know I just recently packaged up those games and put them in the mail. So hopefully they'll get to you soon, but they have a little ways to travel, maybe a few weeks. Let me know if you haven't received something in a month's time or so. What I have here is a randomizer app, and when I touch the screen, it's going to give me a random number, and that number is matched to the names here. And these names are people who donated during the fundraiser or who answered the skill testing question and were entered in for free. You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to touch the button. The number for this one is going to give us the winner to Dungeon Roll. Here we go. 452. 452. Christopher Mayfield won. Christopher Mayfield won. You have just won Dungeon, Dungeon Roll. Roll. Congratulations. All right, I'm going to tap the screen again. We're going to get another number, and that's going to be for the winner of Castles of Burgundy, and it is 152. 152. Mad Schultz. Mad Schultz. Schultz, I think. <laughs> Congratulations. I have both now mispronounced your name and <laughs> awarded you a prize. I hope you guys enjoy these games. I'll be sending you an email to make sure I have your correct addresses, and then I will try to send them out as soon as possible. I think that's everything. Yep. Until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.